Hi everyone, today we're gonna to do some nano needling and I bought a Dr. Pen micro needling pen on Prime Day as an impulse purchase, but then I got really busy researching and watching lots of videos and I've done it a couple times now, so I'm ready to do it on camera for you. So nano needling is no needles at all. There's just a little bumpy cartridge that presses the serums into your face deeper so that you get a more of a glow. It's a really good facial. And you can also use this pen for cosmetic needling, which is shallow needling, and medical microneedling, which is deeper needles. So we're just doing the nano needling for now, and I'll show you how I do it. So my face is clean and toned, and I'm going to start putting some of my serums on. And I tend to do, for the most part, an Asian skincare routine. Not all of my products are Asian, but it's, it's very serum heavy, essence heavy, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna start with a serum from Beauty of Josin. This is the Revive Serum with Ginseng and Snail Mucin. I'm gonna just press that all over my skin. And my skin's feeling pretty dry today, so I wanna get a lot of moisture infused into it. The next thing I'm gonna use is Dear Skin Tranex Serum, and this is for hyperpigmentation, dark spots. It's chock full of all the more natural ingredients to handle dark spots, like tranexamic acid, kojic acid, vitamin C. It does have glycolic acid in it. So because of that, I can't really use it every single day because that's a little bit drying, but I do tolerate glycolic acid well. I, I can't use retinols, retin-A, any of that kind of stuff but glycolic acid is okay as long as I'm not overdoing it. So just pressing that in. And I wanna get some stuff all over my face, even though I'm gonna work a section at a time, my skin's dry and I don't want it sitting here the whole time with nothing on it. So I may have to add more serums later. The next thing is my beloved Harulabo Premium Gokujun, I'm probably saying it wrong, serum and this has at least five types of hyaluronic acid in it. It has urea, it's incredibly moisturizing, it's very gentle, and it's thick liquid, kind of like a gel water kind of thing. And this is so moisturizing. I've been using this for at least 10 years. I cannot live without it. So this is gonna really moisturize my skin, get all that good hyaluronic acid in there. I'm going to use Myzon Snail Repair Essence, Intensive Essence. So the serums I've gone in order of thickness, thinnest first and thickness. And so this one I'm just gonna put on my forehead. So my goal here today is to get that pigment enhancing serum and all these moisturizing hyaluronics and snail mucins infused into my skin. So I have the pen and you have to set it on zero. My only complaint about this pen is there's tiny little silver numbers on silver and they're hard to see. So you might have to get readers to see them. So it's set on zero. The cartridges come in these sterile packages and I'm gonna open it up. So you're just gonna pop the cartridge in, turn it counterclockwise to lock it, take out the white tab and Hopefully you can see the cartridge in there and it's down beyond the rim. So this wouldn't touch your face if you used it at this angle. So now you have to turn the cartridge all the way up so that the cartridge comes close to the end. And hopefully, let's see if, hopefully you can see, there's just little bumps on there, there's no needles. And then when I turn it on, the cartridge is going to go beyond the rim just a bit. Now that I've talked so long, I'm gonna put a little more of that snail essence on my forehead so it's nice and damp. And I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna put it on speed three. It goes up to six. And I'm gonna do one section at a time and I'm gonna go up and down, small little sections and then horizontal and then I'm gonna make little circles 
So I'm gonna make sure I cover all the space there. I'm not adding any pressure at all to the pen. So I'm letting the pen do the work. I'm just very lightly holding it. And you can see it's making my skin a little bit pink. And it doesn't hurt at all, but I, on my forehead it tickles because the forehead's kind of bony and it's a little ticklish. And this is just pushing that serum much deeper into my skin than I could do with my hands. And it gives such a nice glow. It's really a great facial. So you can do this before an event. That pinkness doesn't last long. Although if you have really sensitive skin, you might wanna do a little test first to make sure that it doesn't leave you pink too long. So I'm working little, little, tiny sections. And this is bringing in a lot of circulation, a lot of blood flow to the surface of the skin. And whenever you have blood flow coming to the surface, good things are happening. And I'm gonna speed this up when I'm not talking so you don't have to watch the whole boring thing. So I've mentioned before, I'm just totally not into Botox or fillers or any of that kind of stuff, but I wanna look as good as I can doing natural things and this falls into that category for me. Um, I rely on face yoga every day. That keeps my sagging away. And I still have some lines and wrinkles. I'd like to soften more. Now I'm gonna put a little serum around the eyes. So face yoga has helped me soften my lines and wrinkles, but I still have some. I have 59 years of, of expression lines etched into my face. Uh, so anything I can do naturally to help that, I'm all for. Okay, so I'm gonna go around the eyes now. I'm gonna go right under my brow bone. And again, I'm not putting any added pressure on the pen. The pen's doing all the work. I'm gonna go right in the corner. And I'm even going right underneath. Now, if you have loose skin, you wanna hold it taut. And go right under the eye with that. Get those serums in there. You can also make a face to help hold your skin taut. So for my upper lips, I'm going to wrap my lips around the teeth, make my skin taut. This is a problem area for me, so I'm gonna do it a few more times. You can stick your tongue out to firm up the skin as well. So I'm pretty much going over every area three times. So up and down, side to side, circles. Sometimes I do it in a different order, but that's what I'm doing. And be generous with your serums. You want your face to be very moist. You want that pen to have something to push into your face. And now neck and chest.
So if you have any thyroid issues, you may want to avoid this area or ask your doctor about it. There are no needles going into there. There's no electricity like in microcurrent. So it may not be a problem. I'm not sure about that. So make sure to check and take care of yourself. I'm gonna go over where I have necklace lines a little bit more. And for those, posture is very important. Don't look down at your phone. Hold your phone up to your face. Don't look down at your phone. And chest is next. I'm a side sleeper and I have some very deep lines on my chest. So I do plan to do the shallow needling soon, the cosmetic microneedling, and I will do that uh, on camera also. Now, that is supposed to make even more of a difference. It will help push serums in, but it also creates little tiny micro injuries so that your body's forced to send collagen to the surface to heal. And like I said, this does not hurt. It just feels like you're using a little massage tool or something. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know. Some, I've heard somebody say it feels like a cat's tongue. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay, now I'm gonna put serum on my lips and I'm gonna nano my lips themselves. So before I did the area around my mouth, this is really great to have smooth lips and to plump them. I would not do it if these were needles. And get the edges where the lines form. And before I take that cartridge out, I'm gonna do my hands and I'm gonna do the inside of my arms. I'm just really, trying to fight creepy skin. So for, since I have spots on my hands, I'm gonna use that Tranix serum on my hands. And then also some moisturizing snail essence. And it doesn't take long. As you can see, the whole thing doesn't take very long. And I was careful to go over everything three times, but you don't have to if you're in a hurry and you just want to get a little glow. So as I mentioned before, I'm totally not into Botox or fillers. I've never done it. I don't think I ever will. So I have all kinds of massage tools, gua sha's, you name it. I have a little home microdermabrasion thing. So this area inside the arm is a little more sensitive. And the first time I ever did this, I did get some little red dots on my skin, but they went away within a few hours. But I'm hoping that by bringing circulation to my skin and infusing some serums, I can keep the crepey skin away. So I did have some pretty bad crepey skin. I first got it when I broke my arm and it, it came really fast and took a long time to go away. I've really been working on it with dry brushing and massaging. So my advice to anybody younger is not only take care of your face and your neck, but your whole body because your inner arms and your legs are going to get really weird as you age. So take care of your entire body. Put some good things on your legs and arms too. Okay, I'm done with this. The important thing now is turn it clockwise, take it off, throw it away. You never, ever, ever reuse a cartridge. So I have all these good serums infused into my skin. I'm gonna to top it off with my moisturizer and I'm using Myzon Sicularonic. It's a very thick, rich moisturizer, which I love for my dry skin. 
So I used to only have to wear these heavy moisturizers in the winter, but now that I'm 59, I need to use them all year round as well. <laughs> and I have to tell you, this, the serums on my skin feel much better. It feels really different than when I just apply them with my hands. It just, my skin feels really uh, kind of thick and healthy. And I feel like I have a lot of circulation and vitality. And I'll put a little bit of this on my arms. And now I am ready for the day. I just need to put on some sunscreen. I'm really happy. I feel like my skin's glowing and healthy and it feels really good. If you have any questions about the pen or what I'm doing, please ask and I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.